Polarity inversion is the process of changing a signal's amplitude such that the positive values become negative and the negative values become positive. It flips the signal upside down. So what is polarity? It's just the convention that's used to define compression and rarefaction in a signal. So whether we want to use positive values when we have compression on the diaphragm of a microphone, or whether we want to use negative values. There are lots of different situations when an audio engineer might want to be able to invert the polarity on a signal. Let's say you're going to record a snare drum. Use one microphone above the drum and one microphone below the drum. When you record these signals, their polarities will actually be opposite. It might be beneficial to invert one of the signals. This controller button shows up in several different places for audio engineers to use. On almost all mixing consoles, on the individual channels or tracks, you'll find a button that allows you to invert the polarity. In audio software, it's usually inside of plugins that you'll find a button that allows you to perform this task. So the first thing we'll do is jump into Pro Tools and look at several different places where this process to invert the polarity shows up. And then we'll switch over to MATLAB and write the computer code to do this task. It's actually a very simple process, just a matter of multiplying minus one times the value of each sample in our signal. Let me first begin by demonstrating a few places where the polarity inversion process shows up in computer software. So here in our digital audio workstation, I'm going to use an audio suite processor. If I go to the menu here, I'm going to look for the one called invert. Very simple interface here, just a matter of pressing the button to perform the process. Now the positive values will become negative and the negative values will become positive going to undo and redo the operation so you can see it in action. Another place where this polarity inversion shows up is within plugins. It's a common feature in even complex kinds of plugins. Here's the trim plugin. It has a button that you can press. The signal passing through it will be flipped upside down. Also, here's an equalizer. There's the button up here in the top left that allows us to invert the signal as it's going through, along with performing the equalization. So those are just a couple examples of where you can perform polarity inversion within a digital audio workstation. Now let's jump into MATLAB and write the computer code. Here I'm gonna modify the code that I created for the linear gain change to now perform the process of inverting the polarity of a signal. Start out with by creating an array that we'll use as our test input signal. It has some positive values and some negative values. From before, when we were performing the linear gain change, we had a positive amplitude value that we'd use in this loop that performed element-wise indexing. We'd go through sample by sample through our signal and multiply it by this scaling factor of 0.5. Now what I've done is I've set it up so that we'll print the input signal and the output signal. We can look at how the values change. I'll run this script. We can see that when we have a positive value of 0.5, our values just get decreased by half. What I'll do now is switch this to minus one. So our amplitude here to perform the polarity inversion is going to be minus one. Now when I run the script, let's look at the results. Comparing our input signal to our output signal. Our input signal is zero, our output signal is also zero. But now when our input signal has a positive value, our output signal has the same value except that it's negative. And then when our input signal is negative, now our output signal is positive. So now we're going to flip the signal if we were to look at the waveform. So this is polarity inversion. I'm going to switch over. Instead of using this simple test signal, let's use a sine wave signal. So I'm going to highlight this code that I have commented out. Compress this button up here to uncomment the code. So now I have a sine wave signal. Now, instead of printing these things below, let's go ahead and use a command that will plot them. It'll compare the input signal and the output signal. I'll run the script. Now we have a waveform that we can look at. The blue signal here is our input signal and the red signal is our output. It's a mirror image flipped across this axis. Therefore, the process of inverting the polarity on a signal is nothing more than multiplying the value of each sample by minus one. 